In this video, you will learn how to produce recombinant proteins using the XPCHO expression system. As always, use good cell culture practices and wear your personal protective equipment. Be sure to clean your cell culture hood and work surface by spraying and wiping them down with 70% ethanol. In order to maximize expression of XPCHO-S cells, it's important to maintain high cell viability and a robust cell culture. During all cell manipulations, mix the cells by gentle swirling. Avoid vigorous mixing or pipetting, which can reduce protein expression performance. Some clumping of cells is normal during routine subculturing and is not of concern. Ensure shaker settings are correct to provide appropriate cell mixing, 125 RPM for shakers with a 19 mm orbit and 115 RPM for shakers with a 25 mm orbit. Cell culture incubators should be set at 37 degrees Celsius with a humidified atmosphere of 8% carbon dioxide for routine cell culture maintenance. Cell health is critical to maximal performance. On the day prior to transfection, determine XPCHO-S cell density and viability. Subculture the XPCHO-S cells to a final density of 3 to 4 million viable cells per milliliter and allow the cells to grow overnight. We will follow the 250 milliliter flask format of the XPCHO expression system transfection protocol. On the day of transfection, re-examine cell density and viability. The cell should reach a density of 8 to 10 million viable cells per milliliter and viability should be 95 to 99 percent to proceed with transfection. Dilute the cells to a final density of 6 million viable cells per milliliter with fresh XPCHO expression medium pre-warmed to 37 degrees Celsius with a volume of 50 milliliters in triplicate 250 milliliter shake flasks. Swirl flasks gently to mix the cells. The cells do grow fast, so only make this dilution within an hour or less prior to transfection. Discard any remaining high-density cells. Do not reuse for routine subculturing. For this expression run, you will need Expefectamine Cho Transfection Kit OptiPro Serum-Free Medium Positive Control DNA at 1 microgram per milliliter stock concentration Two 50-milliliter conical tubes in a rack a P200 and P1000 pipette at appropriate tips. A pipette aid device and appropriate serological pipettes. A marker and a timer. And three 250 milliliter shake flasks with XPCHO S cells at density of 6 million viable cells per milliliter in a 50 milliliter volume. Prepare expefectamine chode and plasmid DNA complexes using cold reagents. It is not necessary to pre-warm all reagents. At all culture scales, you will need 3.2 microliters of expefectamine showed and 0.8 micrograms of plasmid DNA per milliliter of culture to be transfected. For triplicate 250 milliliter flasks, you'll need 12 milliliter total of expefectamine showed and plasmid DNA complexes four milliliters for each flask. You can easily scale the protocol for other size flasks by following the transfection at various scales table in the protocol. Label one 50 milliliter conical tube as one DNA and another as two expefectamine. Add six milliliters of OptiPro serum-free medium to each 50 milliliter conical tube. Add 120 microliters of plasmid DNA to tube 1 and mix well by swirling. Do not vortex or pipette vigorously. Gently invert the expefectamine showed reagent 4 to 5 times to mix thoroughly. Add 480 microliters of expefectamine showed reagent to tube 2 and mix well by swirling. Add the diluted expefectamine showed reagent to diluted DNA and mix well by swirling. 
incubate expefectamine chode and plasmid DNA complexes at room temperature up to five minutes. Then slowly transfer four milliliters of solution to each of the shaker flasks, swirling the flask gently during addition. Do not allow the complex to incubate for longer than 10 minutes before addition. Incubate the cells at 37 degrees Celsius with 8% carbon dioxide and shaking. For maximal flexibility, the XP Cho Expression System offers three different expression protocol options. The standard protocol has an addition of expefectamine chode enhancer and a single feed on day one post-transfection. The cells are maintained at 37 degrees Celsius throughout the expression run. The high titer protocol has an addition of expefectamine chode enhancer and a single feed on day one post-transfection. Then, the cells are shifted to 32 degrees Celsius on day one post-transfection. The Max Titer protocol has an addition of expefectamine show enhancer and first feed on day one, followed by a second feed on day five post-transfection. The cells are shifted to 32 degrees Celsius on day one post-transfection. In this video, we will follow the Max Titer protocol. It is not necessary to pre-warm the expefectamine Cho enhancer or the XP Cho feed prior to addition to flasks. On the day after transfection, add 300 microliters of expefectamine Cho enhancer and 8 milliliters of XP Cho feed to each of the 250 milliliter flasks, gently swirling each flask during addition. Transfer flasks to a 32 degree Celsius incubator with a humidified atmosphere of 5% carbon dioxide with shaking. For max titer protocol on day five post transfection, add the second eight milliliters of XP Cho feed to each of the 250 milliliter flasks and immediately return the flask to 32 degrees Celsius incubator with shaking. Optimal time to harvest protein will depend on the specific properties of the protein being expressed and the protocol chosen. Typical harvest times to reach maximum titers are eight to 10 days post-transfection for the standard protocol, 10 to 12 days post-transfection for the high titer protocol, and 12 to 14 days post-transfection for the max titer protocol. At the time of harvest, Cell viability should be high 70 to 80 percent, thus ensuring maximum performance of the XP Cho system. Cell viability that begins to drop midway through the expression run and or is low at the time of harvest indicates that conditions should be further optimized to obtain maximum performance.